Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement Huffman tree and Huffman codes. Already, we have discussed one example. This is the second example. Construct Huffman tree for the following data. Character is A, B, C, D, E and hyphen and corresponding probabilities they have given. So, first for this given problem, we need to construct the Huffman tree and then we need to implement the Huffman codes. Then, we have to encode dad hyphen cpe using huffman encoding method already we have discussed the huffman algorithm also first we need to construct n one node trees for this given character and corresponding probability we need to construct n one node trees and arrange them in ascending order according to the probability then combine the first two trees and make them as a left and right subtree and you need to record the sum in the root. Likewise, the procedure continues until you will get a single tree. Every step after combining also, you need to arrange in ascending order. So, every step this procedure continues. Finally, you will get a single tree. That single tree is nothing but the Huffman tree. So, for this given problem, first step, we need to construct n one node trees. So, for character A, probability we have to place it first and then we have to place the character. So, this is called one node tree. For character A, it is 0.5 and for character B, it is 0.35 and for character C, it is 0.5 and for character D, it is 0.1. Likewise, for the given character with its probability, we have to construct n one node trees first. This is the first step. Okay. And for hyphen probability is 0.2. Okay. So now we have constructed n one node tree. So this is the first step. Next step, arrange these n one node trees in ascending order. That is, the smallest value has to come first. That is the smallest probability value has to place it first. Next is smallest, next is smallest. Likewise, we need to arrange the symbols along with its probability. Okay. So, here if you are considering which is the smallest one, symbol D with probability 0.1. That is the smallest. Okay. So, 0.1 D is the smallest. So, that we have to place it first. Then, 0.2 with a hyphen is the next smallest. And then it is 0.35 with A. And then it is 0.4E. And then 0.5A and 0.5C both comes. 0.5A and 0.5C. See, now we have arranged these N one node trees in ascending order. Okay. And the next step is step 3. Combine first two, two trees with the smallest weight and add these two values, place it at the root. The sum you have to place it at the root and D will be the left subtree, hyphen will be the right subtree. Okay, so step 3 and also you have to arrange in ascending order. So step 3 if you are considering, if you are adding the first two, two trees 0.1 and 0.2, you will get it as 0.3, right? So 0.3 will be at the root. The left subtree will be D with 0.1 and the right subtree will be hyphen with 0.2. Okay. And the remaining one node trees as it is you have to write it. Keep in mind after adding also you have to arrange these trees in ascending order only according to this probability value. So now it is 0.3 only. Next it is 0.35 b and next to point 0.4 e next to point 0.5 a and point 0.5 c right point 0.5 c so now we have arranged so first two trees we have combined and we got a new tree okay this is new tree likewise the procedure continues until you will get a single tree finally and the next step also, combine the first two trees with the smallest weight. See, after combining also, you need to arrange these weights in ascending order only, right? So, combine first two trees. If you are combining 0.3 and 0.35, you will get it as 0.65. 0.65 and 
point six five will be at the root, and then this point three, and then the left subtree of point three is D with point one, and right subtree is hyphen with point two. Okay, and then the right subtree will be point three five. It is B. Okay, this is point six five. Since we need to arrange in ascending order. Point four e comes first. Next is point five a, point five c, and then point six five. Okay, so point four e, and then point five a, and then point five c. Okay. After combining, also you need to consider the weights in ascending order. Weights or probability or frequency, we will tell it. Okay. Next step. Step five. Again, the first two trees with the smallest weight, you need to combine and create a new tree. So, point four and point five, we are considering in this. Case, you will get it as point nine. Okay. So, it is point nine, and the left subtree is point four with e, and the right subtree is point five with e. Okay. Now we got a new tree, and if we want to arrange in ascending order, point five c comes first. And then point six five, this tree will come. Point six five, and then point three, its left subtree. Point one D, and then its right is hyphen with point two, and its right, if you are considering, it is B with point three five. Okay. So now we have completed step five. And also we have after combining also we have arranged these weights in ascending order point five point six five and point nine okay next also combine the first two trees this one and this one you have to combine and create a new tree that is step six so if you are combining point five and point six five you will get it as one point one five. So the tree one point one five you will get it if you are combining left subtree will be point five c and its right subtree if you are considering this whole tree has to come that is point six five and point three and then its left subtree is d with point one and right subtree hyphen with point two okay and its right if you are considering this is point three five With B, okay, and then this tree. This is the smallest weight, so it has to come first. You need to arrange in ascending order so that it is point nine, it is point four E, and it is point five E, right? This is step six. See now we got only two trees, so combine the two trees, and finally you will get a single tree, okay? So now, if you are combining these two trees in the sense, you will get it as point nine and one point one five, right? It is two point zero five, okay? And the left subtree will be this whole tree. That is point nine, and its left subtree is E with point four, and then right subtree is E with point five. Okay, and its right subtree this side, if we are considering, it is one point one five, and its left subtree is point five with C, and its right subtree is point six five, and its right, if we are considering, it is point three, and then its left is point one D. Right is hyphen with point two, and its right, if you are considering, it is point three five B. Okay, so now if you are considering, we got a single tree. See, every step we have combined the first two trees with the smallest weight, and we have created a new tree. This procedure we have to continue until we will get a single tree. See here, we got a single tree, and this tree is nothing but Huffman tree. The tree finally, what we have created as a single tree, that is called the Huffman tree. And Huffman code, how we are going to implement in the sense, all the left subtrees, we have to mark it as zero. 
and all the right subtrees you have to mark it as 1. See left, this is left, it is 0. This is left, it is 0. And this is actually right. Okay, so this is the right subtree, so it is 1. And here also this is right subtree, it is 1. This is left subtree, it is 0. This is right subtree, it is 1. This is right, it is 1. This is left subtree, it is 0. This is left subtree, it is 0. And this is right subtree, it is 1. This is called Huffman code. Next step, we need to encode the text dad-cbe. Okay. So, now we have to encode the text dad-cbe. Okay. So, what is the encoded data for this text? So, how we have to implement encoding in the sense? You have to consider that particular symbol. For example, here dad, d you have to consider. So, d is here. So, from the root to its leaf, where the symbol presents, from the root to its leaf, we need to consider the Huffman code. That is nothing but the code word. So, here if you are considering, character is A and its probability is 0.5, B with 0.35, and C with 0.5, D with 0.1, E with 0.4 and hyphen with 0.2. Okay. And what is the code word for each symbol in the sense? Here you need to consider the character and from the root to its leaf, we need to consider the Huffman code. Okay. For example, for A in the sense, code word is A presence here. From the root towards its leaf, this code you need to consider. So, for A is 0, 1. Code word for A is 0, 1. Code word for B is from the root to its leaf. Where the symbol presents, from the root to its leaf, you need to consider the Huffman code. So, for B it is triple 1 and for C it is 1, 0. And for D it is 1100. 1100 for D. And for E it is 00. And for hyphen it is 1101. Okay. So these are all the code words for corresponding symbols. In this way only you need to implement the Huffman code. Okay. Now we want to encode dad hyphen CBE. So if you want to encode in the sense for D. Code word is double one double zero. Okay. And for A it is zero one. Okay. And for again D it is double one double zero. And for hyphen it is double one zero one. And for C it is one zero. And for B it is triple one. And for E it is zero zero. Okay. So this is the encoded value for this given text dad hyphen cbe and for decoding if you are considering in the sense you need to consider the code word and implement the corresponding symbol double one double zero in the sense it is for d okay and zero one in the sense it is a and double one double zero again it is d and double one zero one it is hyphen one zero it is c and triple one if you are considering it is b and zero zero for e okay Similar way only you have to implement for decoding also. Encoding, consider the symbol, implement the code word. For decoding, consider the code word and implement the corresponding symbol. Okay. So, this is all about Huffman tree and Huffman codes. The very simple procedure only you need to understand the logic properly. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.